Now we put all the things together that we've learned so far with respect to the demand curves and the supply curves and analyze the market equilibrium. Here we answer two questions. First, how we can determine the market equilibrium. And second, which forces push the market towards the equilibrium. We start by drawing the supply curve that we've just discussed in the previous uh, chapter. In the diagram where we have the price level on the vertical axis and the quantity on the horizontal axis, here it's quantity supplied because we draw the supply curve and now we draw in the same diagram the downward sloping demand curve where we have quantity demanded now on the horizontal axis. And we see that since the supply curve is upward sloping and the demand curve is downward sloping, that they will definitely at some point intersect. And this intersection is the market equilibrium. At this point, supply is equal to demand. So there is no excess supply and no excess demand. And the price level is at equilibrium level P star, where there is no reason why the price should change at that point, because supply is equal to demand. So when supply is equal to demand, so D if, uh, demand as a function of the price is equal to supply as a function of the price, the consumers uh, want to buy exactly the amount of goods that the suppliers want to supply at this point. And so there is no upward pressure or downward pressure on the price level. We now look at what happens if there is excess supply or excess demand. The first case we discuss is excess supply. Assume that for some reason the price uh, is very high, so P sub H denotes a high price level. Then at this particularly high price, the consumers would only demand a rather low quantity of the particular good under consideration, while at the same time the suppliers would want to supply quite a lot. Of course, the price is high, they want to uh, supply a lot, but the consumers don't want to buy these goods. That means there is excess supply. So there is more supply than demand. And what happens in such a case is, of course, that there is a pressure on the price to decrease. There are many goods produced, but only few buyers. So those who produce the goods and sell them would want to decrease um, the price. So there would be a downward pressure on the price level. And actually, if the price decreases, more people would demand the good or the people would demand more of the particular good and firms would supply less. But until the economy is in equilibrium again with the given price level P star where um, demand is equal to supply, this force would still push the economy towards the equilibrium. A similar argument holds true, but just in the opposite direction, if we have excess demand. Excess demand would materialize if the price is, for whatever reason, so low that uh, the uh, consumers would demand a very high uh, quantity of these goods, but the suppliers would not want to be willing to supply such a high quantity of goods. For example, this could be due to price regulation or what, whatever. Then in this case, we would have excess demand. And if we have excess demand, of course, there would be an upward pressure on the price. So um, if this is not a strict regulation, but for whatever reason the price was so low, uh, then there would be an upward pressure on the price. Uh, and if the price increases, then uh, firms would want to supply more of this particular good. Households would want to demand less. But until the economy is at the equilibrium where supply is equal to demand, these pressures would still push the economy further towards this equilibrium. So we've seen indeed that the equilibrium is stable. So when we start with a higher price level, we converge to the equilibrium from above. If we start with a lower price level, we converge to the equilibrium from below. And this uh, equilibrium price level is the one towards which the economy would uh, converge, where supply is equal to demand. So we can summarize at the market equilibrium, demand is equal to supply and the associated price level is the market clearing equilibrium price that ensures that supply is equal to demand and that's a stable equilibrium. In case of excess supply, prices would fall, which would raise demand at lower supply and thereby lead to the convergence to the equilibrium from above, from the high price. In case of a low price, we would have excess demand, 
the prices would rise, so there would be pressure on the prices to rise, which would lower demand and raise supply, and therefore the economy would converge to the equilibrium from below.